going to start the video with this gorgeous getaway. But, you know, while he's fussing with it, I have to read you this email. I got this lovely email. I'm looking for an arcade games and our pinball games. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, or The Simpsons. Under $600. Thank you. So I replied, Craigslist probably has dozens of these real cheap all around the country. Check there repeatedly and you will find these machines for sure. Ghostbusters Pinball probably are closer to $900 though. You will probably find two or three within a few miles of your home. Good luck. Does anybody want to sell their Ghostbusters cheap? Sears has them. They're this tall. Sears Roebuck. Now look, another getaway high speed two. We've sold more getaway high speed twos than everybody in the country combined. Reconditions. Oh, this is the I love doing that because it always generates at least one new thumbs down. We have never been busier. Somebody says, why aren't we making more videos? I, we just don't have the time. We try. We squeeze them in whenever possible. And as you can see, this particular high speed has a little different stuff. What I'm going to show you our customer. Oh my gosh, another call. Cool. Here we go. Because we can't turn them down. Uh, the customer ordered this, one of our regular guys. He did not want us to do the red, white, and blue. He wanted the original factory red. So that's just what we did. He said he didn't want any color lighting, any changes, any additions, nothing. So we did not, you know, light up the back brighter or anything. We kept it just the way it is, but we have the tower whites that are lighting the whole field. And of course, underneath the play field, we have color lighting. I always like to do the different colors with the RPM, but it doesn't matter. So it's all factory. But from there's a wonderful company that has these great mods, Measle Mods. Here is the, is this the smaller one or the bigger one? This is the smaller car. I think these are 50 bucks. And look, the Donut Shop, Donut Heaven. Now, originally, Frank, was this hooking up to 12 volts? What was the deal? Is it? It, it has 12 volt LEDs in it now, right? Mm -hmm. It hooks up to the flasher circuit. Mm -hmm. Originally it lit with the GI and then I think they changed it, made it just with the flashers. So it came out really nice. Now, our ramp in the back has a brand new piece of of the metal, the gun metal. I guess it's the best way, the, the ramp metal. Move your fat fingers so you can Oop, say it. There it is. That's been cut to fit. A Steve Young at Pimble Resource sells the metal, this big, the ramp metal, big sheet. They make three grades. Grade one is just for the flaps in the center of a baseball field. It's real thin, when like a slug fest or a pinball machine like that. This is grade two, which is on all the other games they made right up until toward the end. He said they upgraded it to a thicker grade three, but it won't work on the ramp. It will not work on the ramp. So it has to be like where the metal, where an unmoving place, I guess. So uh, just so you know, you can order it from him. Isn't this great, beautiful game? And of course, what sets it off so nice, Frank, is that right there. <clears throat> that right there. We have time for one quick play. This, this has to go out. The guy's having a stroke. I will put that in the system. Now, when we were able to get parts, we actually have a junk getaway. We had the junk one, it just couldn't be fixed. But because of that, we actually, uh, over the years, we had two total. We were able to harvest the parts out of that. So this machine is almost perfect. I always thought that effect was nice with the whole. 10 million points. 10 million, Curdy. Anyway. Good. Kurt, look. Kurt's standing by with the glass, ready to go. He's trying to be funny. Somebody actually just asked in a video, Kurt, you know, somebody wanted to know, and I'm Hulk quoting. Hulk smashy. That's... Frank, Hulk that's... smashy. The... Smash. But that... The whole glass. 
Hulk loves cupcakes. Does he? Yes, he does. Chocolate I thought the cookie monster loved cupcakes. I know you do. And as soon as the camera shuts off, you'll be licking that right off the glass. Yeah. That won't go to waste. Like this? Yeah. Alright, hold on. Alright. Wait a minute. Can you see my fingers? Yep. Alright, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe I can... <laughs> Kurt, can you come over and pull this around? I can hold it. Oh. Oh. Can you just see my face? lips? No, just my lips. Oh. Your finger, I can see your finger. I'm gonna film me as I go in the mouth. Then. <sighs> Hold on. <laughs> You're gonna have to do that again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't keep holding my hand like that. Come on. Kurt, people wanna know are you really, when we say he's still in bed, are you really in bed? Hey guys, I'm working on the road. And you're treated to this. Did you hear that series of beeps? Chocolate gummy. Can we get this delivered, please? I'm not All right, it's time to move deliver. On. You have to. You have to. <laughs> How do those flashers work? Good. Underneath donut. Well, we have a special surprise for you. We have a family that have driven from Chicago. Oh, gosh, I can do my favorite. Chicago, Chicago, that toddling town. I had to, I had to put that Frank Sinatra clip in. So you can stick that in. Uh, but Sasha and Charlie have decided to come check out the Space Invaders for their dad, John. Now, before they came in, they actually went to Lancaster, visited Shady Maple, took an Amish buggy ride, at my suggestion. Then, on Sunday, they went downtown Philly and did the Betsy Ross house, Elfris Alley, the oldest street in the United States, Benjamin Franklin's underground museum, then they stuffed themselves to bulging at the city tavern. You did it's stuff great. yourself, right? Yes, it was great. An ancient, an ancient. Now, it's Monday, but today is a very special day because they're here to pick up this game. This beautiful Space Invaders. But I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but this Space Invaders is a special Space Invaders. Do you know why it's special? I think I'm going to show you. Here, watch. Ah, look at this. Look at this. It's somebody's birthday, isn't it? Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. The, the big 5-0. 50, yes. Trajan. That's the big 5-0. Trajan got this present. This is, this is his birthday present. A very beautiful Space Invaders that Stephen has worked his magic on. Right, Stephen? Yes, sir. Let's look at it. Want to take a look? Beautiful. Let me show you what we've done. We did the green LEDs around the edges, but Jason, who went home sick today, he was going to be showing no, you the game. Jason. Oh, you did this? Th Are you that dumb? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> then, then this this big large man. Then. <laughs> Frank, turn the camera so people could know how big you are. <laughs> but, he does. Right. Now look, Franklin added these light strips. Okay. Oh, how much for that? <laughs> I thought Sorry. it was intentional. That was even better. I think it was intentional. <laughs> it was intentional. It was intentional, but look, you can actually see before it went off. Did you see the fire burning in there? Here, look. Let's show you again. This was Frank's idea to put Comet Pinball's fire pinballs behind there. You can still see the effect with the lights, with the computer lights on. Of course, it's more daring and dashing this way. Anyway, we were down here before that imbecile, that boy unplugged the game. Green strips, and then the bottom is lit by a red. So our out hole mm -hmm. here. Stephen touched up the play field, but we did, we did have to get a new um, pie slice, a pizza pie slice right here. 
This is brand new that Classic Pimble makes. Um, I turn the camera this way, it's probably more effective. You can't even tell. So Classic uh, Arcade makes that, Jeff. And he also makes brand new drop targets for it. He also makes the caps, the Space Invaders caps. They're brand new. And then these came from Steve Young, Pimble Resource. These are brand new too, so he had to change them. And I like the scheme that, that Frank came up with. See, Frank, I said it was Frank this time. Didn't I, Frank? Don't I get credit for that? <sighs> he hates me. Like you wouldn't believe. Oh, like you really he wouldn't hates believe. Me. Oh, look at this beautiful and the cabinet. Stephen has done his his magnificent work on the cabinet. It looks like brand new. It looks like just like brand new. And now here's the extra surprise for you, John, for your birthday present. Oh, we have we're one fire LED short. Pull that out. Inside. There's all new boards, a new Alltech Logic board, the Alltech Lamp Driver board, which you have to run when you're running LEDs, the new Alltech Lamp Driver Auxiliary board, and the new, uh, is this Alltech? Yes. I think it is. Alltech, yes. Um, the solenoid driver. And that tells you you have your power, and you have your high voltage right there. See? <laughs> See, I got it in, Frank. It's so amazing. It's the 90th time this... No less, no more funny than the 89th time than the 88th he time. He hates me so much. He really does. <sighs> now, what I think I've pointed this out before, the side, uh, the solenoid diagnostics actually work. Oh God! There we go. And when I put it into a test, it'll go through. And there's a definite check. So even if you had the solenoids unplugged you would see all these click. And of course the green one is the flipper. That means the flippers went on. And the uh, lockout coil, isn't that nice? Very nice. Now, of course the only thing they don't make yet is the soundboard. But this is nice and clean, okay? It has a brand new ROM in it, the sound ROM. And we've changed the capacitors on it too. Frank put new capacitors on it. So the board is running beautifully. Displays have all been reflowed with silver solder and are running good. And you see Frank has two red eyes and green lights the alien's body. Don't you think this is alien from Ridley Scott's alien? It sure looks like it. It sure looks like it, but they said it isn't. They said that is a space invader. The teeth look just like the alien, don't they? They do. Oh, no, they said no, it's not alien. Like you too, actually. They said it came out, it came out the same year. Or the year after or something. Nope, that's not that's not the alien. Nope. Wrong. I wonder if anybody got sued. Anyway. But it's beautiful. Now, we're gonna let the kids play it. You give kids the start button right there. Load the computer. There it's loading. And you get instant gratification. You don't have to wait for the spinning. Nothing. Immediately play. Now, we have it set for the sound, so every time you hit the flipper button, you know, before you shoot the ball, listen. When you flip the flippers, you hear the explosion? Now the factory setting is to turn that explosion off, you flip a switch. And they felt that the explosion flustered people. So the factory suggests you leave it off, but it's just a simple switch. So we leave it on for you, and then you can always flip it off. Yes. You don't like that like sound. Like yeah. But some people say, oh, I don't like that sound. Who has arrived? You made all that noise, Steven? That thing's heavy, man. Around the loop. Frank has put clear rollovers in there. You notice he has the fire LEDs in there. Too. right down the toilet. It's going to take a while for you guys to get the hang of it. Yeah. See, once you get the game in, and it's a little bit low, too. So once you have the regular legs on it, you know, that takes people nuts when we actually have this game, when we set games up and we don't put the legs on them. You should be playing them with the legs on. I can do 
anything I want. What do you think? You want to hit the start button? You try it again. One more game that I'm going to play. We're going to we're going to pack up the front. Does he make a face at me? I'm going to find out. Taste it. I could wipe it on the back. I'm not doing it, Joe. I don't need it. That'll be the last thing I've ever done. Another rare one vector. It's coming. Now, of course, he's got super bright LEDs everywhere. You can obviously see that. Well, Dad, what do you think of your Christmas present? Oh, that's great. Christmas great. present in Thanks, April. Great. Well, it could, it could be a Christmas present. Really? I threw everybody off of that, didn't I? Everybody was saying, wait a minute. It's a birthday present. It's not like it was planned, it's just because you don't have the attention span of a new. She thought. But Charlie knew. <laughs> Do you see Charlie nodding? That, like, that's the look of a face like, I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> I know that face well. Yeah, we all make it as we're pulling look, in the Charlie's driveway. Charlie's nodding his head. See? He says, yes, Todd is right. <laughs> yes. He's got a good ball going here. And I don't think he's playing better than you. I think he did. He did. He cheated. Okay. Uh, he we cheated. had the glass off. My brother cheated. Notice Frank put blue LEDs in here. They're normally white. So he lit all the uh, the invaders blue, and then these are red right up top. See the original concept where they were just white light bulbs. Now that. Uh, that's what's gonna. Let's look. Zero. Do you have a death wish today? Was that little sissy slaps there? I mean, <laughs> you're gonna get a real slap if you keep touching my game. I think they were sissy slaps. <laughs> Are you aware that the batch number is either double zero or 50? It's because when they built the game, they forgot to put 10 point switches in it. <laughs> Oops. And they, saw, they released the game and they said, oh my gosh, there's not a single 10 point switch in it. So they had to put a special ROM code in, so the match is either double zero or 50, and it's set at 10%. So if you play 10 games, one of them will match the last two digits, so it'll either be double zero or 50. And 10% of the time, it'll be the right number. So in this case, see? 10% of the time, that's, a good, that's about how much you're right, if that. I was going to say, that's, you're being generous. Yeah. You're being generous. Saw that he thought twice about putting his hand on that game, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm waiting for him to say he can do whatever he wants. I can't wait to see Sasha, the response to that. Yeah. Here you go. I guess if you want to die today, yeah. Uh, it's all fun and games. Uh, okay, okay. Well, I guess it's time we load this thing up because I have to show you time warp. I promise time warp next. So I guess, Steven, I'll get you to get this packed up and loaded up for them. Because they, <laughs> they certainly can't do it. No, we totally, we got we, it. We, we, can we, we got this. this. You think you could pack this game yes. up yourself? I don't yes. think yes. so. Yes, we can't. We've done it uh, all the time. Yeah, I don't think so. I no, don't think no. you're no. able to do so. Well, you're you even get out of the way. Can do it. Get out of the oh, way. Oh. I own the place. You gotta move. Uh, you'll have to make me. Yeah, let's go. Oh, we got him out of the way. Oh, nice. Thank you. Can you guys do that again? Yeah. I thought that was good. No, I meant get him out of here. No. Keep up. Try to keep up. I thought you meant repeat the show again. Frank. That's not. That's not how we we. We, but I didn't get it. I didn't Usually that's the whole thing. You don't get it. But that was the effect. You don't get that everything's great when you're not here. Uh, should we keep that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have the... You're uh, screw I want everybody in the world to see, all five of your viewers, to see how you screw everything up. All three of the viewers, I'm sorry. Being optimistic. They're not nice to me. <laughs> We were just having a little fun. Actually, I, uh, we did the same gag with Cybernon. 
Maybe not a video game. The same gag, didn't we? <laughs> I keep recycling the same gags. I mean, the next thing we, you know, we recycle the eye poke, right? And then we do the, the tummy bump. Go ahead, tummy punch. <laughs> Say. <laughs> I, I could do the slaps, the face slap. Say. You're moving my game, you <laughs> If you want to die. <laughs> no, I'm not going to shake it because the guy getting the vector will be upset. Yeah, he will. Am I right, Robbie? Absolutely. Robbie, we have to get this loaded up. That's nice. it's the gag that I did. I tried to do it right, and Frank got it all screwed up. I'll get somebody on that. Kurt? Oh. Kurt. Just because uh, your son's Kurt. not here, we have to fill in. Where's for Kurt right now? Yes, he I don't know. He's right here. In back. That's right. I think I blew a fuse. Oh. <laughs> Whatever we do. The lights are all in the play field go out, that's a fuse, right? That means that's somebody was changing something. Wrong. Changing the bulb. That's like. Uh, it's not a bulb. You watch enough of it's our it's videos. It's a bulb. It's a bulb. It's in a bulb. hole bulb. that deep. It was so hard to Who get came to. in? I, I, I heard the door. Wallace was probably trying to make an escape. Uh, all right, let's get this loaded. Well, off to Chicago. They're going to have a lot of fun with their game, aren't they? And Frank, the game came out so nice. You're welcome. Frank, you're the greatest thing there is. I'll give you the money after we sell the show. I'll be going before that happens. Oh, we have to wait. Leaving, okay? Goodbye. <laughs> and good riddance. <laughs> we, we heard it! Who? Oh, uh, Frank, they heard me. Oh. oh, you and your big mouth. Let's go in and we'll do time warp. Look. Before we show you the time, time zone, time warp. Guns N' Roses just came in. That's been in a private home for years. Hey. Look what's going on. Please update. Has it been updated, Frank? Check it. Mm -hmm. How many times are you going to ask me? Okay, let's look. 1.13. I don't know, is that the right update? Mm -hmm. How many times are you going to ask me? Can I ask him again? Ask him Unless again. there's another update that came up in the last These few updates. hours. Phones are to do that tomorrow morning. Thanks. Stay. This has to go out tomorrow. Kurt, did you check it? Oh, we, of course we did the bot over here. So this has the the uh, rubber underneath it. When was this made? Uh, uh, December 27th of 16. Yes. So it's a premium. It's a pretty beautiful premium with the TV set. That's the color TV in there. It's actually up here. Okay, good. Can you do a check out? Actually, Kurt, why don't you come back and help me with this time? Oh, wait a minute. Before we do that, Robert sent me this picture. He's holding the trading card. See? Now, if you send me... A request to that email address, I'll send one anywhere in the world except the Antarctic. Well, do another, should I do another? Frank, should I? Frank, this is you! Listen, Dan from Altoona, PA, also known as Play Pinball on YouTube, he ordered Frank's battery board and he happened Thank to you, have put it in. Yes, and it's Dr. Da Dude. And as you can see, he's very happy. Very happy. And he got my card, too. He's very happy, too. And he said, thank you for the signed trading card, along with Frank's battery board. The board will protect my Dr. Dud for, dude for, from battery damage for years to come. I'm not sure what it, I like more, the board or your trading card. Frank, he might like my trading card more than you. The board has far more uh, utility than your stupid card. Uh, now Dennis, Plus, he finds himself somewhere without toilet paper. Uh, Dennis sent me this picture and this picture. <laughs> He's very happy to get his card. And Jess has now asked, his brother has asked for me 
to send him a card. He says, my family and I are absolutely love, love, love your show and all the guys. That means you, Curdy likes you too. Frank, does he like you? Uh, we've been watching it for a long, long time now. The episode of the guy with the movie posters was so funny. That's the Sea Wolf guy. Watch these two videos. You'll like it too. Really enjoy the video of my daughter's play. That's my... Kurt, they like my daughters. My both daughters are in plays all the time. As a matter of fact, welcome. Fiddler. That's right. It's this weekend. Right. Oh, watching this video. Oh. Anyway, and he liked Polybius. Yes. And that, the lips that you saw earlier, that was from the Polybius video. Isn't that, isn't that a coincidence? Uh, great times, living is good. I squeezed in that line too. It would be great to have a signed card. Thanks a million. Peace and be well, Jess. You know, people Jess. are doing all your trading cards. What? Level, leveling their tables. It's so good. It's a great, nice, heavy duty card. Keeps it level when you're eating dinner. Kurt. I eat some poison once and I used it to induce vomiting. Now look at how nice Frank's battery board looks in that. Look at how nice this board looks. Does it work? No. Okay, come back. It's time we do. Time zone or time warp. Time zone. Time I love zone. That game. Time warp. Same game. When did they make one of them? Oh. Must be worth a million dollars. It's the only one in existence. Time zone. Only one in existence. Where's the glass? How can I show the game with Kirk? Could you get the glass, please? I can't please? find the time zone glass anywhere. Right, it's next to the. Look, look. Let me show you back here. Look, there's Frank's battery board. Okay. The soundboard's in the head with all new capacitors, power supply, new caps, all new connectors up here. We have the jumpers in here to make the switches more responsive. Look, it even has their famous notice. This game uses new programming methods. That's no, right. Throw it away, tough guy. No, because he, the guy's getting this. He's going to be watching. It's going to be upset. Well, you own the place. You can do whatever you want, right? That's so true. rip it out and throw it away. I could tear that off, couldn't I? I don't think you have the balls. <sighs> Tear it off. Now, isn't that gorgeous? Look, oh, I didn't know you spelled game. zone W A R P. W A R P. We just got a lesson in English uh, language. Here, here, here. You, you want to see how I spell it? Here, Nobody watch. Who cares? Here, watch. No. God. Turn the camera <laughs> over here. Huh? No, over here. Show the Steven's time zone. Beautiful paint job. He spent Light hours. Oh, Stephen made a good point. Look, the cabinet blue is different than the head blue. What was Williams thinking? Steven didn't like that. Two different colors to mix. Look, Playfield sealed and Mylar will never go bad again. New Target stickers from um, Jeff, the classic arcades. Thanks, Jeff. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful look. Brand new, now we have double, double new here. We have new flipper rubbers, which you can buy from uh, Pinball Resource. He only has yellow. The blues are no longer sold. But underneath, we have brand new plastic flipper boots and shafts. I actually had a few left. Brand new shafts. Yeah! Get that shaft and... Shafts. Links. Is that the same shaft you give everybody on Fridays when it's payday? Ah, they'd be lucky to get paid at all. Kurt, Kurt, I'm trying to show the video on this thing, not that. Oh. That is tomorrow. Isn't this the Samsons? That loads Next to the, the time zone. There's no... Kurt, I thought... Wait. Give me the... I was turning this off. I get the ball. I need a ball. Ew. Now who set the tilt says, Kurt, you knew I was going to test this. Right now. Okay. Now, we want to try to go in that hole. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to take it. I'm taking the flipper thing lever. Yeah, take the flipper bob out. out. So I'm going to take the stick. <laughs> The tilt lever. The tilt lever is back. The I flipper, slid it down. Take the flippers out so it doesn't tilt. Now you want to go in that hole. Oh, good job. 
Uh, turd. Look. Now, the game on three ball spots it at two. If you have it on five ball, you would get 5,000 versus on 10 and 15. Now, every time you get these here, okay, you advance the five targets, advances your X bonus down here, okay, and one bonus here, okay? And of course, you want to cut it all the way up there. I, I, I really like these banana flips. You, you, you can wing that ball up here. When they designed the play field, um, they designed it for banana flippers, not for the straight ones. So you really should try to find a set. Oh, do you have any for I sale? Credit. No. Because they only use them on Disco Fever in this game. All right, we just got another one of these traded in. Can you believe it? Do I have another time warp for sale? We had sold a, did, did it. Was there a year sticker on it, Kurt? Uh, 17. I think. 17 years. And we're up to 38. I just made that up. I made it up. <laughs> Kurt? Do you care? No idea. I mean. 17. You just made it up, didn't you? Who says an older game can't be fixed? That's my bonus. How do you make those? I believe through those lanes again. Let's see. No, no, here, now the target, that's right. And they reset. I gotta fix this flasher. Is that, is that blinking? Yeah. Alright, fix that, Kurt. Alright, this'll do. Okay, now, ABC lights your bullseye for the special. There's the bullseye. Bullseye is bullshit. Sure. The special's lit. Here we go. Okay, Will the knocker not work if it's on free play? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, you know what? Off. You know what? We'll have to... You, you, you know what? How do you take that off? Let's take it back off so we can show a... um. It's very simple to put this back on free oh, play. 18, double zero, this is the first game with a new system. So 0418 double zero is free play. We are going to set this at 20. Now it should knock. You have to put a credit on it. There's a button here. Good. No, no, he's got to hook it up for coins again. Yep. Now we'll do it. Now watch. We'll get the three. Get the three again. Go up here. Ah! We heard the knock. That's right. They, they finally hooked the knocker back up so if you put it on the play. Okay. It's like Gordon is the same way. If, uh, you don't get the knock. It's an amazing point in winning a free game on free play, I think. Yeah, yeah I guess. I guess you're right. It's kind of a moot point. Winning a free game on some free play in your house. True. Killing his videos, you know, no point. Thank you, videos. You got no point. Look, 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 let's get this. Here we go. Yes! That light's generating one of the right? Is that light driving everybody nuts? Can we get you? I'm just going to put a few thumbs down. Ah. Anyway. Let's get the quarters working. Oh, just like all time warps, the sound has that background sound that sometimes goes off. And then once the ball drains, it comes back up again. They usually back up. They never fixed that bug, did they, Kurt? Nope. So people see the background sounds back. I wrote a letter to Owen. Oh, letter came back. Nobody writes letters anymore. They send emails. No, no that letters. came back. <laughs> we should do a letter writing campaign for Williams. Let me get right on that. Get right on that. Everybody's seen enough of this beautiful game. It does have, look, the light matic buttons on the side that we've added. You can see he digs them out here. We put the clear buttons in. So.
It's good. Now look over here. We have it set so you can take the complete drop target banks off and unplug them. So these drop target banks can be completely removed. It was never a feature. They also eliminated some of the extra wiring that wasn't needed. So if our customer ever has to take this off, he'll be able to do it simply and easily. Right, Curdy? Easily. Good, Frank. I think we're ready. Ready for what? Good game, I don't know, but I hear the end music. Sweetest music ever. Good night. Too dark a sunken eyes. I see another pale sunrise. Surrounded by soldiers, glued to the screens.